Hello, one of the kids, uh, uh, stuffed dog. Okay, so, uh, I'll just check it's working. Yes, it is. So today, I want to talk about, uh, this will come under, out of the five foundations I work on, this will come under lyrics, and it's going to be on rhyming. I've done rhyming before, so this will be another one on rhyming. There'll be plenty on rhyming, because uh, there's plenty to talk about on many, many subjects. So, in this particular case, rhyming is one of many, many subjects. So, on rhyming, this is good. Listen to this. One very simple thing I want to point out here about rhyming, which I reckon is fantastic, and that is... When you, whatever rhyming scheme you start with in your verse, the start of your song, your verse, in the chorus, it must be a different rhyming scheme from what it is in the verse. That's what I'm giving to you today. That's what I'm pointing out today. That's what I want to make today's video content about. It's huge. It's huge. It might seem like... Is that all? Is that all you want to say? It's huge. Because as one of my songwriting mentors, gurus that I absolutely love, not a guru really, just a very good songwriter uh, who earns their whole living out of it and has written many hits, as uh, he says, the reason you do that is it lets the listener subconsciously know that there is a change coming. When you change the rhyming scheme, I, uh, in other words, rhyming pattern, when it changes for the chorus from what it was in the verse, it lets the listener know something's happening here. Something's about to happen. And that's what they want. That's, that's what uh, the audience want, is, is cues. You know, they want to be cued into, okay, I'm, here comes this, here comes that. So, it's hugely important. Now, once again... With all songwriting rules or, or, or uh, the craft of songwriting, you don't have to do it. You can hear it and say, yep, I get that, but I don't want to do it in this particular song I'm writing. So don't think I'm saying, well, you know, unless you do that, your song's no good. That's not what I'm saying. But it, again, is what the majority of hit songs have been, and the majority of songs played on the radio, the majority of songs that your listeners, your audience, will like. They'll just simply like it. They'll understand it. It's subconscious. We just have ways that we get stories told to us that resonates, and that's one of them. So, again, I'm going to repeat it. Whatever your rhyming pattern is in the verse, it must change the pattern of rhyming for the chorus. Okay? That's it. The chorus and the verse rhyming patterns are different from each other. All right, it's brilliant, it's perfect, it's fantastic. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.